Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I am back again with the ANET ET4. I've got another mod. Earlier, I did the mod that is up here uh, so that the filament has a nice path. Now, I've got a new mod down here, and it will actually get the filament so it comes into the extruder at just a little bit better angle. I do not believe it was totally necessary, but I like making them, and it's fun because I think it prints in place. And last but not least, it snaps on. So I can simply pull this off and it's able to be taken away if you don't like it or if you break it and it prints in just a little bit more than an hour. I'm on version 8.8. .8. I am going to post it to Thingiverse. There may be another version, but let me show you what we built. All right, friends. So this is the part. It was built in Tinkercad. Uh, these supports are actually generated by me. This is just a simple cylinder with a couple little cones that poke out and they make it so that the bearing prints pretty well. You can see it's got a little glitch here on the bottom, but you saw this come right off and look at that. It already rotates, it's print in place and then the more you use it, the more you'll get rid of the little spots where it was sticky and eventually it'll spin almost as good as a real bearing. Now eventually I will make one of these that has a nub that you can put a real bearing on this is an old version that I had uh, that I used with a bearing, and it, it does spin better, obviously. Uh, but if you don't have bearings, or if you think printing in place is pretty awesome, that's why I've got that built. These also are little cylinders that I put on to make it so that these turned out a little bit better. And as you can see, it is labeled version 8.8. .8. There really were at least eight versions. Um, a couple of them, the changes were just so small that I didn't even put a number on it. I'm going to just use the snippers to remove these little posts. It's possible you've got your printer tuned well enough that you don't need those. But they're so small that I... Uh, choose to do it just because the less I have to worry about it, the better. This little spot right here is for an extra piece that we add. And when you put that piece in, it'll keep the filament from popping out of the bearing. But you can remove it so that way anytime you're adding or switching filament, you don't have to remember to slide it through the groove. And then this is what it looks like on the mechanism. This simply slides off. It has this little foot that slides on here to lock it in place. And then it goes around these two nuts and post. So here's the brand new one. And it simply slides on and around and in just like that. And you can see it is super snug. And that slips in there so that the filament does have a path that it can follow. If we get a look at it from underneath, you can see that it follows it right in to the filament runout sensor, which is pretty slick. And friends, this is what I call the runout cap. Uh, right now, it's not fit and perfect. So I might not publish this piece yet. I'll keep tweaking it, but I will get this piece up here. Uh, you'll just have to keep in mind that it could pop out of there when the filament comes up and goes down. And then just make sure that once you get it going, it's lined up. I mean, if it does jump out, it doesn't end the world. You just fix it as it's printing. Alrighty, friends. So here is the part graveyard where this was built. Uh, in Tinkercad, you can play with as many different parts as you want. But when you're done, you just click on the one that you want to export. So I usually just grab all four pieces. I've got the pegs and I've got this. And then I export it as an STL. And that is what you're going to be able to download. Uh, these are those little cones that I printed so that it comes out a little bit better. Uh, this is actually a different version than you saw in that printer. Uh, I updated that afterwards. And then this is where I'm going to take this post and make it a little bit smaller so that it slides in better uh, when I finally put one up online. But that, my friends, is how you design in Tinkercad. Alrighty friends, so once again this will be on Thingiverse and it was made with Tinkercad. So if you're checking out any of my Tinkercad videos, you can make real parts. I have a lot of fun just playing with Tinkercad, but more proof that you can make real usable parts using Tinkercad. Friends, if you found the video useful, please give it a like. If you've got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button and last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me. HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.